Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Cloud Thinking, where I discuss topics and review products that I find interesting and are technology focused. In today's video, I'll provide an update on the current progress with the Robinhood app. I am currently two months in now, and as you can see, there has been some positive progress uh, with the Robinhood app. A lot of this is due to a couple decisions that I made to take a position in uh, one of the companies that I had on my list from my previous video, as well as go ahead and sell uh, Disney while, uh, while it was up and, and I can make a profit. And there's a couple other stocks that I sold as well. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so as you can see, if we scroll down, you can see where Sirius, uh, that's a stock that I got uh, given to me for, you know, uh, getting a friend to sign up for a Robinhood account. And I went ahead and sold it since it was it was just strictly profit for me. So, and I didn't really feel like holding on to it and keeping it in, in my portfolio. Uh, also, as you can see, there's a lot of buys for ATRS, which I'll get into in a minute. Um, also, I so sold GRPN, which is Groupon. That's another stock that I got for uh, a referral. And, and yeah, it, like again, it, it's a strictly profit. So I went and got rid of those two. They were, you know, they were up and they were doing well. I just, you know, one stock each. I just went ahead and, and got rid of them so I could free up the, the funds to to buy some more ATRS. Now Disney went ahead and did eventually come back up to where I was in the green so I went ahead and sold that. Now I know from my last video I said that it was going to be a long hold for me and I did plan on that. However, I have been doing a lot of research on some biotechs that you know, have some FDA approval dates coming up that I really want to want to test out uh, a concept that I have about being able to swing trade some of these biotech stocks. So I went ahead and sold Disney while I was up just to free up the funds as well, uh, which led me to go ahead and buy additional shares of ATRS as well as uh, Ford. Now Ford, I plan to you know, do as a swing trade and capture those dividends, but it has been doing pretty well. I think uh, in the last month, it's just, it's been continually going up. So currently it is at 12.25. And again, like I said, you go in the past week, in the past month, it's just been going up. So I didn't see any need to to try to swing trade that and plus there's a dividend date coming up this month and I want to go ahead and capture those dividends. Once that occurs I will go ahead and probably get rid of these shares and then buy it on a dip because it you know it does look like it will come back down so I can, I can buy when it's a lot lower and go ahead and start swing trading this stock again you know up until it's dividend time again then I'll try to hold it through the dividends that way I can capture those so the reason that I sold most of everything was I did go ahead and buy uh, these shares of ST Microelectronics and as you can see it is doing pretty well uh, again this is one that I covered in my uh, last video as you know, been one of the stocks that falls within the Internet of Things. This is definitely going to be a, a growth stock, so I have no intention to get rid of this. Uh, it's just been doing phenomenal. Uh, five years, it's 341. Granted, it's only a $20 stock, so it didn't have to increase too much to get there, but but still, within the last day, uh, you know, it's up and down, but long term, I think that it's just going to continue to increase as more items, you know, start requiring chips to need uh, connected to the web. And as you can see, I purchased these 
on the 26th, and I've already increased, you know, eight, $8.52 just off the six shares. So I, I'm, my, my average is 18.58, and yeah, I, I only see this increasing over time. And one of the other reasons that I freed up funds was because of ATRS, which is Antares Pharmaceuticals. Now, they have a couple really important dates coming up. They have uh, their FDA approval dates for one of their uh, products, and as well as they teamed up with Teva and to make a generic uh, pharmaceutical and that date is scheduled for the 15th as well so you know i've went ahead and taken a larger position in that and i plan to add some more uh, between now and those dates uh just to, just to see you know i did go and do a lot of research so there's several websites that you can that you can go and take a look at and you know public information and i will make a video on that so you know stay on the lookout for that video because it, it i'm gonna go pretty in detailed about how i go about looking up information what sites to go to uh you know what information you're kind of looking for in these uh earning statements and 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 stuff like that um so yeah, be on the lookout for that, and it will be pretty detailed. First, I do want to, to see how this pans out and to see if my research really pays off, and I will keep you all up to date on that. As of right now, it, I'm already up on all of these shares. I mean, this stock has been increasing, increasing over the last week, month, uh, even three months, you know, it's it's hot back up, and you know, currently they have not really turned a profit, but that it's a biotech, and they have to make the first products first. So, so we'll see. Um, look out for the next video for that, and I'll update you if everything works out or if it does not. Um, I am keeping a my eye on it, you know, to make sure that I have a good stop loss. Uh, set in place so if if it does not go in my favor then then you know i won't lose it so much so but yeah with that said always do your own research so you are informed about why you are taking a position in a particular stock and don't take a position based on someone else's opinion well, that's it for this edition of Cloud Thinking. I hope you liked today's video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this video if you found it informative. Also, please leave comments below with any future video requests or questions that you may have. If you would like to sign up for Robinhood and get a free stock in the process, then you can use my link below. Probably won't be a highly valued stock, but hey, it's free. It's better than nothing, right? Talk to you later, YouTube.